guys and welcome to my channel this is Taryn speaking and today I'm gonna do a speed build of a lovely restaurant you can download this build from the sims 4 gallery and I have posted a link in the description below you can also search my origin ID with Taryn sims and check out my other build as well if you like my builds and videos remember to give me a thumbs up and follow and subscribe on Twitter YouTube and Twitch for more uploads so Valentine is coming up in a couple of days and I assume a lot of you have started to plan your dates already. We don't have a very big celebration in Norway as there are in these American movies but it is a bit more common today by going out, eating, give some gifts etc now than it was before, especially for the younger ones. And since it is Valentine's Day soon I thought it would be nice for your sims to bring the loved ones to a perfect dinner date. This is a very high and exclusive restaurant, so it requires table reservation months in advance, at least, you know. But it will be all worth it. There will be cute little rose petals, candles, fountains for you to enjoy. And there's also a lovely meal and music while stargazing, because this restaurant is outdoor. So get all dressed up before your dates and bring your perfect match. So while I was making this build, I started to think about what I'm gonna do on Valentine. If anyone has an idea on what to do, so let me know. This would be our third Valentine's together with my boyfriend. So in previous year, I have been at home where he served me a very lovely meal with a massive dessert and some flowers and another year we were visiting this theme park because I really wanted to go there in the winter. They have made it like a winter theme park where they have this spa and bedrooms that are made of ice and you can actually rent those rooms to sleep in if you want. This is actually a theme park of the old fair tales you may have heard of from when you was little. You see, um, we had this man named Ivo Caprino, he made these dolls that he used to animate movies with and some of the dolls he used is displayed here. I don't know if you all heard about Pinchcliffe Grand Prix, I think it's named in English. It's a very cute movie, I probably know most of its lines by heart, in Norwegian that is, because I have never seen the English version, because the Norwegian is just so good. He died many many years ago, so his son, I think, had taken over his legacy, and the car he used in the movie are uh, usually displayed there in the summer. The first Valentine we had, we weren't really together at that time, so it doesn't quite count, but he sent me a box of chocolate, which I actually started to eat before Valentine's Day, I didn't know it was a Valentine's gift because it came by mail a few days before and he didn't say that I shouldn't open it before I already tasted a piece and I actually felt bad for ruining the surprise so I didn't tell him for weeks after that I killed his surprise but he was really cool about that and this year we're probably just gonna stay home we are kind of broke and eating outside is very expensive unless you want to settle down for a cheeseburger at mcdonald's or something but whole cooked meal is fine i guess and i also expressed that i would really want a new stuff pack for my collection a very romantic gift right but at least it won't die within a week as my flowers usually do I actually don't like days like this because it's like a money sucking day and why can't you do special things every day throughout the year? I feel it's so limited to one time a year if you just do something on Valentine's Day. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? And what are your sims gonna do for Valentine's Day? Well I know, your sims gonna visit this romantic restaurant and maybe some of you will even go down in one knee and ask the big question. For the restaurant to work, we need to have this certain criteria and that unfortunately also includes a toilet. So I try to hide it as best as I can and make it as small as I can. And I had never visited a restaurant in The Sims before so I had to try it. And this is the super exciting me who enjoys a romantic dinner alone. But I hope you guys will enjoy this place and remember to give me a thumbs up and follow and subscribe on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch if you like my builds and videos. 
You can also leave a comment below to let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so I can improve my future builds and videos as well. All comments are highly appreciated. And of course I also want to thank my followers and subscribers for the support you have shown me. So enjoy the upcoming Valentine and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.